Hero! Or my brother! Leave me alone! I cannot. Although I understand your pain, I will not allow you to hurt yourself anymore. It's not your business! This is my body! What of Ace, then? Who sacrificed his body to protect you? Was that none of your business? Alright, now the nigga out of pocket. For one, the moment Luffy told this nigga just mind your business, he should have just remembered his role and just respected the nigga wishes. Cause he's the parental guardian, not his brother nigga. And number two, he knew what he was trying to do when he said that shit. Like the wound's still fresh, but this nigga just died like not even less than 24 hours ago. And the nigga still cracking like, jokes and shit. Me. Like, like nah, bro. I promised the nigga knew what he was doing. You bastard! Shut up! Say one more word and I'm gonna crush you! If that would make you happy, then why don't you try? Let me warn you. Injured though I am, you will not defeat me. Not in that condition. What's wrong with this nigga? <laughs> Like, honestly, bro, it's one thing to laugh at the nigga pain, but, like, bro, you're supposed to be the big cousin in this situation. You see this nigga still grieving about his brother, bro. Like, give the nigga some time, bro, to be by himself, instead of trying to fade him about him grieving, bro. Like, just let the nigga grieve. Boy, you can't see a thing. Your brother who was your guiding light has faded away, and your enemy stands so tall and casts so great a shadow that you can do not but cower in the darkness. And now, you strike out like an animal at the cage your doubt has placed bro, around you. life told him his brother faded away. <laughs> like, like, it really makes me wonder, were these niggas even friends for real? Each time we see these niggas on screen, like, they're always fighting or they're in jail or some, like, forced to be around each other type shit. But no, in all seriousness, you can visibly tell the shit talk is getting to. Like, it actually looks like he's gonna pop a blood vessel or something. Luffy, your pain may be great, but it mustn't devour you. <laughs> there is yet joy beyond your sorrows. <laughs> What's gone may be gone, but you still have something left in this world to treasure. Don't you? <laughs> You know what thing about Jimbe? His delivery may be fucked up, but he has good intent in the end, right? But nah, this was the reality check Luffy needed, I feel like. If Jimbe ain't talked to him, I felt like he actually would've popped a blood vessel or something. Like, that was like way too much strain on any nigga's body, bro. But nah, in all seriousness, his delivery way out of pocket. Like, you're not supposed to talk about your friend like that. Especially if he dead and you talking to his relative. But he still snapped Luffy back to his senses. So he still get props. But I don't know, but y'all niggas can go let me know if his delivery wasn't really that rough and if it was on some big cuz it tighten up like that type of deal or if his delivery was just out of pocket but i don't know y'all niggas can go let me know i'm gonna read everything i actually want to see what y'all niggas gotta say for this one and i'm gonna see y'all niggas in the next one